hewing axes are used to take round or rough pieces of wood and make them flat. So why are hewing axes curved? That's what this video is about. G'day. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Stuart Chignall. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this video, it would be great for you if you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification uh, because then when I produce another video, you'll get to see it and you won't miss it. This video is inspired by a video that I watched of a blacksmith who took an old German broad axe and he noticed that it was curved, like this one. And when I say curved, I mean that not, I'm not talking about the, the edge of the bit is curved. What I'm actually talking about is the actual, this is curved. That this flat surface here is curved. And thinking that this was a problem, a mistake, some damage that had occurred over time, he reheated it, reforged it, and flattened the blade. Oh no! Oh. Before I get into the meat of this video and talking about these curved, why these axes are meant to be curved, I don't want anyone to think that I'm having a crack at the blacksmith who, in my opinion, ruined that dramatic axe. Um, and that, for that reason, I'm not going to tell you who he is and I'm not going to provide a link to his channel. Um, and if you know who he is, I'd, I'd like you to not provide a link to his channel or mention his name either because I don't want this video to seem that I'm having a go at him and bashing him. I didn't like what he did, but I don't have any problem with, I don't want to attack him. Um, but I will put a link to this video on his channel and if he wants to say, hey, yeah, that was me, I won't do it again. <laughs> um, that'd be cool, but I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you who he is because I don't want. I don't want any angst from people. The main reason is that in the comment section of that video, when myself and a couple of other people said that the axe was meant to be that way, it was meant to have that curve. There was a massive, massive amount of ignorance about um, not only that these tools. These, these hewing axes are meant to be curved, but not a clue in how they're used. So the first up is my Germanic hewing hatchet. And I say Germanic because uh, when this axe was made, Germany didn't exist. So, uh, and this, these axes, this style is used across all uh, the areas where people speak German or any of its dialects. Um, beautiful, beautiful hatchet. It's one of my favorites. All my axes are my favourites because if they're not my favourites, I sell them. Um, beautiful, beautiful hatchet. And if we look at it up against the straight edge, we can see that the bit is curved. The, the toe and the heel of the axe are curving away from the wood. When you're hewing with it, you're not going to be leaving a flat surface. You're going to leave a scallop surface. So this is a French one isn't in the best of condition because I haven't restored it because, um, well, it's right-handed and I'm left-handed. Uh, but it really shows the example of how pronounced the curve can be. Because if you can see the, the rock in that, if you put the straight edge on it, we get a contrast so you can see that better. That is um, quite a camber. Next up is an Australian axe. This, um, this is my father's axe. Anyway. Uh, it's uh, a much, it's much younger than the others, and um, uh, probably 1870s or so, somewhere around there. Um, give or take 25 years. Um, uh, and it's of, of, compared to the other two, it's quite flat, but it still does. Have quite a camber, you can see there. If we're pressing it down, there's there's quite a gap there. Um, but it is, admittedly, it is a lot flatter than the other two. And the final one is this baby. This is a, an Austrian finishing axe. Comes from a, actually, it's not even Austrian. It's a Corinthian finishing axe. Comes from a very small state within Austria, is where these are from. Um, used to get a virtual plane surface onto beams. 
And when I say plain, I mean flat. So if any of these hewing axes is going to be flat, it's going to be this one. <laughs> and my straight edge isn't quite long enough. But if you see here, there's a real pronounced curve at the end and at the start, where the middle is dead flat. And that should give you the first real hint of why all of these hewing axes are curved. In a plane, when you are planing wood by hand, you often will have a slight camber to the blade so that the corners of the blade don't dig into the wood when you're planing. Uh, now, if it's a scrub plane, that camber is huge, and if it's a finishing plane, that camber is incredibly slight. Just enough so that the corners don't dig into the wood. And that's exactly why these hewing axes are curved. It's the same principle, to prevent the corners, the toe of the axe, the heel of the axe, from biting into the wood. So yes, these, these axes are used to get wood, beams, posts, whatever, flat. And in, some, in the hands of an experienced use, user, incredibly flat. But what you have is a series of interlocking scallops which are taken out across the surface of the beam. In the case of the Corinthian axe, those scallops are very wide, very long, and in the center of the scallop, dead flat. And just there's a little bit of the turn up at the ends. And again, in the hands of an experienced user, you can get those scallops to overlap so that the board or the beam or the post is nigh on dead flat the entire length. Um, but that's a seriously good skill. Um, it's one that I'm pretty good at with the, the, Ger the German broad axe, the hewing hatchet. It's what I'm still working on with the Corinthian finishing axe because that, <laughs> that mother is very hard to use without digging the toe or the heel in, even with the pronounced curve. So, hope that was useful. Um, hope that corrects some of the people's comments and thoughts on why these, why these style of axe is meant to be curved and not meant to be flat. Um, and possibly in another video I can talk about the exceptions to this. So that there are some hewing axes that are single beveled that are dead flat. Um, and of course there's the reasons why double beveled hewing axes are, are flat as well. So, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.